Welcome to my house. Rumpy Buckle here, and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. We're still out in New York. We completed our emerald exploration. We completed the emerald trial. We got the emerald night challenge done. Hopefully you guys got a flashlight now. That's cool. And you got the Franken bait, so if you got that Arctic, we're able to get a hold of that and got out there, you should should have got that uh, the pipe slasher under your belt too. So. so what are we gonna do now? Now we're gonna go out. We're still out there, but we're gonna go and we're gonna farm this lake for a while I know. We're gonna make some money. We're gonna learn how to build that bank account up so we can travel, so we get some better equipment. So that being said, let's meet me up in New York at Emerald Lake. I'll see you over there. All right, we're here in New York. <clears throat> now we're still on day one from completing the, the earlier missions. And we're now at 9.08 in the evening. We're right at the peak. So we're gonna, rather than fast forward to daytime, because <clears throat> the peaks for tomorrow morning kind of kind of low and we're looking at our barometric pressure and it's kind of stagnant so it's good it's going to be a tough road to farm tomorrow morning so we're going to try to grab what we can at least get the process down i'll show you what, what we all got to do we'll get started we'll grab quite a few here in the next couple of hours and then it's just a matter of farming peak to peak to peak to peak to peak that's what we do. Alrighty, so let's get our poles in the water. Let's get over there. We're good there. Let's go fishing. So we're here. We got our rod stand set up. Let's look at what we're gonna what we're gonna fish with here today. We're gonna take our all-around 1210 with the Inspira ML2500 on it. We'll be using that. We have that. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this heavy chaser a little bit later but we've got him loaded up with leeches we got the sport all around kind of equivalent to the to the flagman all around we got leeches on him now these are <clears throat> we're going to switch up because i have number eight hooks on all these so i'm going to have to change these over to three aught we'll probably go two or three aught for the walleye now we're going to definitely throw out our arctics 13-2 with the double punch on it. We're not going to use our Troy, but we are going to. Now this flagman, he doesn't, we won't be able to throw out far enough with this, even though we have 499 feet of line on there. He just with the bait and all, this reel won't get us up there, so we're not going to use him. So I'm going to bait up, rehook, and we'll get on the water. Okay, so I put number three three barbless hooks on everything i fish i only fish with barbless when i, I mean I, even when we're fishing for pan fish i use number eight barbless that gets you the most xp cost you gold but you 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 do better it's a little harder to fish you got to be careful you got to keep that tension keep a tight line but it's good all right so let's take a look at what we got out there I'm going to throw up my map here so you guys can take a look at the three spots and you can copy down the coordinates. All right. We'll open this up a little bit. There we are right here. And there's the three marker boys out there. Now this one here was just, that's a trophy walleye. So you, you can make a mark 3881 minus 3777. This middle one was another trophy walleye. That's the mark for them. And this one here was just a mark. Oh, no, he is another trophy. I thought I just marked the hole when I first got here. Okay, so you got three trophy walleyes there. Those are my three holes that I farm out of. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We've got our flagman all around. We're going to hit him out there on the first this is 
A heavy chaser. We got leeches on him. Sport. And our artists. And it begins, so it doesn't take long. And now it's on. Let's go fight some more. Trophy wall, like 403 bucks right there. Gotta love that, fellas. That's what we're here for. So, we managed to land a quad. All four rods. And we are farming. <laughs> you gotta love it. Since watching me throw poles in the water, we'll be right back. I'm just throwing the last pole in the water. And the first one is hit already. <laughs> you gotta love this. I don't care who you are. I got buckle bunnies on the dance floor waiting for me. Hurry up. Come on. Go get this guy, and make sure he doesn't. Oh, yep, he's gone. Let's go back to this one. We missed one. Buck, you waited too long. Get that hook set. Once you get the hook set on him, then, then you could play the rods back and forth. You know, just give him a couple of cranks each one, rotate off them, and you should be able to bring them all in. I push it to the limit, try to get as many, as far in as I can, and sometimes you lose one. 
But there's plenty in there. I don't fret over it. What gets me is I get confused on what poles I got. So, so we lost that one on three. We probably don't have any bait on this. It's sitting at 20. We'll see if it goes to 19 when I pull it up. I think this was the rod that he was on. Yep. All right. Get him back out there. Now, I'm just throwing him between the markers. Like I said, there's a hole out there. And you just get between them markers, and you'll be fine. All right, let's get the last bow in the water. And we are back on the dance floor. Work well under pressure. <laughs> Farming is perfect. All right, he's good to go. I think uh, we've got a bender here on too, so let's set his up first. All right, so now I've got that one going off in four. I'm not going to put this down in another slot. That wastes time. Up, oh, I lost him. Oh well. Trying to talk. Should have set the hook immediately and then talk. But that's all right. We got one here. Okay. Now, we know we ain't got any bait on that four pole. So we're going to leave it sit in the water right now. <laughs> this is the perfect time because I don't want to lose my peak time on this. <clears throat> I want to talk about real life bottom fishing with a spoon. Because that's one of the ways here. I mean, we've got live bait going on here now. And we're it's just banging us. And it's fun. And we're catching fish. But the, the bite will slow down on this live bait. And the real slaying is done with an ultralight in the quarter ounce narrow spoon so let's pull that guy out i know i'm not going to get bothered because i only got one line in the water i'm going to show you how to work this lure pick any one of them spots it doesn't matter we're just going to throw out there it's pretty much the full extent of your ultralight that's about as far as you can get but it reaches Now what you want to do on this lake is let that lure drop to the bottom. You want it to hit the bottom. A lot of times I just give it a little a little bump of here and there on its way down just to see if there's something there that might hit it. And it does hit a lot. And at this point, we're just going to twitch at a, at a two speed. And the way I do this is I keep my finger on the shift key because like now it's sitting on the bottom and it won't come up I don't want to change my speed all the way I just want to hit the shift key and accelerate it it makes it go up to the max and it'll pull it up right off the bottom for a little bit and you just twitch it And you keep twitching. Now when you get in about under 75 feet, you got to lower your power down to one when you're twitching. So otherwise it'll come up to the surface too fast and you'll miss a lot of that area right there in front of us. And you'll catch a lot of grass pickle and stuff there. Right? So let's throw that out there again. We're in our peak, and this normally 
Nossa. Not it, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit, but just above the bottom is fine. That's where you want it, and it's okay to let it drop and bounce a little bit, and let it let, hit across the bottom a little bit, and then you kind of hit your shift key just to bring it up off the bottom a little bit and play with it. Now we're getting close to the 75 foot mark. As long as it's staying below the half water table, you're all right. Now it's getting up there, so I'm going to lower it down a little bit and then play with it in for the last 50 feet. Hey guys, we're back. It finally quit raining. It's day two, 9.40 p.m. Um, I want to take this time. I, I hope you guys are doing a, lo a little bit better than I am. Um, going into my first day of farming, being day two, I only have 156 pounds of fit. It rained all day. Uh, I anticipated a slow bite uh, before we got here, and it's shown to be true. So, let's take this opportunity to learn how to properly throw this casting spoon out this this spoon across the bottom a lot of guys out here te try to try to tell you that um, let's just throw her out now I've seen guys more than one or two try to teach the way that you twitch in this game is to Use your right mouse button down, hold your rod pole up, and move the left mouse button because you're pulling it in. You just basically you're just doing a stop and go with the rod tip up in the air. Well, that's not twitching. That that won't work in the real world either. Because how are you going to set the hook if you already got your pole clear up in the air? How much? What am I going to do to set it? Not not good. It doesn't work in the real world. I, I don't use it in this game. The proper way to twitch is pull the line in, pull it steady, and then bounce the rod tip. That's the proper way to twitch. Because then you've always, once he does hit the, the bait, you can set the hook. And you use the delay by just, and you can twitch fast and slow by just rapidly left and right mouth buttons that's how i basically catch most of the walleye in here but that's the proper way Let's see, now that this rain has stopped, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves. The way I was looking at the... I was looking at the weather forecast. It looks like day four is going to be our day to slay. This is going to be... The, day three is going to be another... There he is. But when the conditions are right, with the proper twitching techniques you can catch a walleye damn near every friggin cast it's I get mad if I pull that lure in and I haven't caught a fish and so you know with 156 pound and I fished all day I'm madder than a wet hornet right now <laughs> you know I'm here to farm and make some money and uh, I'm not making it yet so we're going to continue at it. We're going to grind at it here for the next couple of days. We'll hit these days when it's not going to rain. It's going to rain again the next day. We'll, we'll get through it. But remember that technique. It's it, it's just like in real life. You you got to have you got to have room to set the hook. So that is the proper way to twitch. And there we go. Just that simple. Every cat. 
slow twitching, load it. Uh-oh, get out of them weeds over there, buckwheat. Now, as you can see, the bite died down on the live bait. My, my alarms aren't going off, but we're still catching walleye. Twitching. All right, go at it. Practice. We're going to be here a while. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. It's 11.38 at night. I'm on the back side of the night peak. Uh, pretty much the bite has died. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to extend to the following morning. Let's take a look, though at our fish here for a second. Let's see how this went. Now, of course, we cut all these little ones on the spoon. There's a couple of minnows. Spoon, 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 spoon. But now, when it started to rain, now I had a pole with small minnows, leeches, and night crawlers. Look at the difference between leeches, night crawlers, leeches, night crawlers, leeches, small minnow in there. There's the spoon. I didn't fish a lot with the spoon because the bite was so slow I was concentrating on the live bait. But as you can see, the majority of these fish were caught on night crawlers and leeches. There's not very many small minnows. Like I said, when it's raining for some reason the small minnow bite dies off, but the leeches stay and the, and the night crawlers stay. So we didn't do all that well. We only made 15,000 for today. Uh, we had 67 fish, 182 pounds. So we're gonna we're gonna fast forward to the following morning. Extend to next morning. Extend yes. And there's our take for the day: 15,000, and we ended up with 42.66 XP. So, I'm going to get the poles in the water, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, poles are in the water, and of course it didn't take long at all. We're back at it. All right, it's 511. So we don't have any rain today. Uh -oh. We better make sure we get these hooks set. Shouldn't be lagging on me. I can't be lagging when I got fisking to do. And I took this. Be no lag. All right. Good time. Great. Let's take a look. Let's have a look. As my buddy KP says, let's have a look. Okay, weather forecast. What do we got ahead of us here today? Look at this. Sad. Two nice peaks, however, the barometric pressure does not change. Let's just hope. Like I said, changing barometric pressure is the best. That doesn't mean we can't catch fish. Let's just hope that today's conditions with the temperatures and the fact that we've got a wind today. We've got a wind coming in at 4.6 mile an hour, 4.5 now from the south. So that's, that'll help us out with this pressure. Um, the day that I'm looking forward to is tomorrow, the day four, because we go from a low to a high, back to a low. So from here to here to here, a lot of barometric pressure changes. That whole day should be great. So we're gonna grind through day three here, see what we get, put it in the bank. All right, I'm gonna get my sticks back out in the water. I'll see you guys later. It, you, you basically know what we're doing here. Hit at them hard. Good luck. I hope you do better than me. Okay, guys. We're through bottom of the first peak here. So we're going to fast forward to the second peak here. Let's take a look at our performance. All right, fish keeper. Let's see. 
All right, we're going to look for how much was caught with the ultralight. Boom, 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 boom. Let's keep rolling. Now this is one pole against four. I had four out there with live bait on it. There's one nightcrawler. There's a leech. Nightcrawler, leech, 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 night. I'm gonna say, there's I'm not counting them up, but I'm gonna say 60%, maybe 75% of everything caught so far in the first peak has been off that spoon. Now, something I wanted to also mention to you. We're fishing for walleye. They don't have any teeth, but we're catching a lot of pike and pickerel with teeth. I am not running a leader. I don't run a leader. I don't run a leader in real life either against pike. When I go fishing for pike, I don't put a leader on. I don't put a titanium leader on. You fish them right, they're going to catch that hook right in the legs. I've caught everyone. I haven't lost. I haven't lost one of these lures. Now watch. It'll happen to me. As soon as I fish the next peak, probably for opening my mouth. But I don't use them. Now yes, there is a chance that you could lose a lure and could bite through that mono that line. So but anyway, we're gonna fast forward. We're gonna get to that next peak. And we'll see how we do. So far we're doing pretty good here on day two. And it's the bite's not heavy, it's just steady. Guys, we've got this big one on there. I've never had to fight anything quite this hard with my ultralight in this way. That's why I got the camera on. I don't know why I got it, it's, but it's, I think it's big. four pounds. I mean, I made some good money, but fought harder than that. Now I'm back. I'm pissed. I was fighting fish and the game rolled on me and I didn't get to show you guys my stats here. So they're gone because I had to extend. Anyway, I ended up with 255 pounds uh, on this day, day three, uh, which wasn't too shabby. I think it totaled out to 21,146, but I wanted to show you the difference in all the fish that I had caught. Over 80% of the fish, and it was one pole against four, um, was caught on that narrow spoon. So, anyway, I blew it, and I don't have it. So, we're on day four. <laughs> I hope you guys did well on day three. Uh, let's let's hit day four real quick, and I may I may end it on day four because day three ended pretty good for me, and this is going to be a good day for us day four. Now uh, there's barometric changes on this one, so let's get our sticks in the water and uh, slay them. Be right back, guys. Well, my fingers are sore and my ultralights beat up, so I'm going to call it quits due to time constraints. I got to get this video up on YouTube. We didn't do too bad today, I must say. Um, it turned out to be, even though the barometer wasn't in our favor for today, we had a steady barometer all the way across. It did change just a little bit, but uh, we're on the backside right now of this peak. The bite has died off quite a bit. I'm going to run, get some repair work done. So let's take a look at what happened here today. If you look, that narrow spoon. Played some fish. Now, yes, they're most of them on the smaller end of the table, but they're up there. He's up there with a couple of nice sides. Now we're getting into some of the bigger walleye. He's still up there competing with the leeches. So he's still going. And 2.8 pounds. There's a 2.8 pound. 
him. I didn't do too bad today. There's a 3.0 pound on him. 3.1, 3.1, 3.5, 3.5, So it works pretty good. We did do too bad. 27,373, and that's not even with a premium account 133 fish total for 334 pounds i'm gonna call that a day thanks for fishing for uncle buck this is emerald lake you just keep staying here keep making you make yourself 20 to twenty-seven thousand dollars a day go to premium Let's see what we made there let's check out we're gonna head home please yeah. So for today, 27, 379, and we got 79.41 XP. 41 and 11 if we would have been premium. Probably going to get beat up with some repairs here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Quite nicely. Let's take a look. New vault. We're at 3160. 727. Not bad on my ultralight. This guy got beat up 667. Not bad there. 1521. Them reels cost a lot. Alrighty. Well, we'll get that taken out of our till. Total was 6,075. Write that down so I keep that in my records. Yes, fix it. Trip results. We made 70 grand, 246, 20,000 in XP. Not a bad trip. Not the red. We're definitely in the black. So, we will survive. To fight another day. Yeah, I'll take that. No, I don't want that. So, if you had the fun here, you liked what went on, got some value out of it, any at all, give me a like. Subscribe. You get notified when I put out a new one. This one will be out pretty soon. I need a couple of hours. And that's it. You've been fishing with Uncle Buck.